Access to nutritious food is central to a healthy life. Yet this can be a challenge when household incomes are low and when external shocks such as floods, fires and COVID-19 disrupt supply chains. Whilst our current food system is vulnerable to shocks, it is also associated with environmental problems, including the production of 25% of all greenhouse gas emissions. This is due to the reliance on fossil fuel-based chemical farm inputs, as well as methane from livestock farming. Greenhouse gases are also produced by the vast transport networks that move food around the world, often referred to as food miles. On top of this, up to 40% of that food is wasted, ending up in landfill where it rots and produces methane, a potent greenhouse gas. However, it is possible to produce local, low-cost food that is good for society and the environment. One way is to shift from a linear to a circular food system. In a linear system, food follows a one-way path of take, make, use, dispose and pollute. In a circular system, materials are reused. There are four key steps to building a local, circular food system, which are described on our website. These include collecting food waste, making compost, building grow beds, and growing food. These actions help to divert food waste from landfill and reduce food miles, and can make a positive contribution to food security and the environment by helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This circular system is flexible and can work at different scales, from households to organisations, towns and cities. We have designed this circular food system with a digital overlay. This includes free code for a customizable app to incentivize engagement and keep track of contributions and rewards. The website also provides useful information on the Internet of Things, including instructions on making a methane sensor from e-waste. If you are in education, the planning, design and implementation of a circular food system with students addresses a number of curriculum areas, including science, technology, maths and biology. If you want to learn more, please visit our website for a step-by-step -step guide.